Y'all know I be like getting excited over everything. Y'all like, he always get excited. Do he not like nothing? Shut up. I'm positive. Anyways, Netflix just been Netflix again. And I was like, when Netflix going to drop something, like in a whole season or something that I can get excited about and I can make my eyes real big and talk real fast? They came for the 2020. I suggest, strongly suggest, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm grabbing you by your throat, putting my thumb between the space right here and telling you, look at Lock and Key. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that no more. Go look at Lock and Key. I've watched six episodes. It's ten episodes. I've watched six episodes. Lock and Key is if Harry Potter was in America and then got trapped in the skeleton key house, but like with Sabrina, the teenage wit, the evil version, the version where she likes Satan and want to have sex with Satan and stuff. You know what? Scrap that. Lock and key is what Twilight would be if the poacher guys wanted to possess the whole cast. Scratch that. Lock and key is. Lock and key is some good ass writing. Lock and key will get you like entranced and everybody likes it. It tells teenage business. It tells demonic business. It shows you how the devil got a girlfriend in hell and she tired of being in hell. And she like, you know what, Satan, I'm going up the earth right quick. And Satan like, you can't go up there without me. She said, watch, as soon as I get these keys, it's over for you. I'm going to go get popping. Lock and key. If you are a horror fan, if you are a mystery fan, if you are a person that don't mind say sitting on your shoulder, even he thumping you in your ear like this, telling you not to do certain stuff, you going to love this. It it has witchcraft, it has mirrors, it has demonic possession, it has memories, it has beef, it has some kind of flirting and some kind of intimacy, it has a lot of anti-bullying messages. Lock and key, to me, feels like it should have been written in the early 2000s when everything wasn't so PC and they weren't scared to go there. The only thing about lock and key is a little bit too real. Okay, the whole show is based upon this house and they got these keys in this house and the keys in this house will open up rooms and doors But then they got some matrix type stuff in where you can put a key in the back of your neck and you can open your brain But if you can open your brain, would you really want to go inside your brain and find your deepest memories, your deepest fears? Because somebody went in my head, you're going to see a lot of porn, you're going to see a lot of bang brothers, you're going to see a lot of Spongebob You're going to see why Nickelodeon canceled my brother and me when that was a good black show You know what? I'm getting sidetracked Lock and Key has great actors, young actors. I'm really excited about it. it Got to be a season two. I ain't done yet, so y'all don't tell me nothing. But I'm around the area where the demon named Echo, where she kind of, she kind of, he kind of, Shim kind of, um, want to control some stuff so she don't got a couple keys because she don't use her persuasion. He don't use his persuasion. The entity don't use their persuasion, and now they bringing the keys to her. And she finna set it off, but it's been some damage because she don't possess some bodies. And they finding out some people that commit suicide, some people were really murdered. I'm getting way too much information into it. Please don't let me down. I'm going to be back in like another week. Now, you know I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm fat. I'm chubby. I ain't got nothing to do today. I'm going to be back in like two days to tell y'all how I feel about the entire season. It's looking like a season two may not happen right now. It's like it's a one-off. I hope I'm wrong. Lock and key on Netflix. Is the only show on Netflix that you should be watching if you don't mind a little evil in your house. I'm going to have to burn some sage with my windows up. Because if I don't, the demon's just going to be running back and forth in my living room. So I'm going to burn some sage in a minute. Some opium sage. Opium. Scents. Candles.